Stock market recap. Today is Monday, March 25th, 2024. So Bitcoin broke out again today. I expect this to get back to all-time highs here as we get closer to the Bitcoin halving. Also, Micron, ticker symbol MU, which I recommended after they crushed earnings, they went up another uh, 7% or so overall today, including after hours. And like I said, with memory needed with all this technology and these chips out there, this could be Micron's NVIDIA moment where the stock goes on a really nice long rally. Okay, I'm not saying it's going to go up to NVIDIA's levels, but this could easily get to $150 a share one day. So this is a chance, like I said, being in the semiconductor stocks makes sense because semiconductors are the new oil. And with all the technology out there, like we've been talking about, you know, you got to you gotta go long with these names. So MU is a great one. Okay, that's Micron. Uh, NVIDIA we've been talking about, obviously, everyone's long this company, okay? They had a nice rally today. It did go up and retest those highs and then it bounced off. Some people are calling it a double top already, but we need to give it more time. We'll see if it can retest again and eventually break out of that and get to a thousand, okay? Time will tell. SMCI also had a good day today. It was up about 7%, okay? So these are some of the ones I recommended, again, going long on. Hopefully you bought them a while ago, right? And you just want to let those go and see what that can become one day, you know, 10 years, 20 years down the road, okay? And then also in other news, Reddit today had a really good day. I recommend playing this one on the IPO day. And today went from about 46 bucks a share to $65 a share. So we're talking like, what, 40% gains, whatever that is. I only put a little bit in this morning. I wasn't able to watch it, but either way, a win's a win, right? So that's nice. Also, I uh, learned that, so companies, there's a blackout period right now with stock buybacks. And remember, buybacks reduce, you know, the shares outstanding. So you own more of the company. It helps earnings per share as well. So buybacks are huge, obviously, for companies to continually beat on their earnings. Anyways, there's a blackout period going till April 26th. So mark your calendar for that day because that's where you may maybe see more announcements of stock buybacks, which will help stocks, okay? So that could be a catalyst. Also, a couple other things I wanna talk about. One is European stocks. I did read today that European stocks are being bought up by institutions at one of the biggest levels in a while, okay? So I wanna put that on your radar, probably because you know interest rate cuts are coming there eventually as well. And I know with uh, Paris, you know the Olympics are gonna be there, so that could, be providing some excitement to or bringing in more people and you know economic activity there so i just want to put that on your radar with the european stock so institutions more people are buying over there and then with a bbar member which is banco argentina i recommended this one you know with new leadership there now the libertarian that now took over i, I didn't mention in my other video that they're trying to align their banking system with the united states banking system and so that's huge guys on top of them loosening regulations there, like we've been talking about this company, you know, or these banks are able to work with anyone now in the world. So we're talking a lot more cash inflows and outflows, more deals, right? Obviously helps earnings per share revenue. So that's why BBAR is still a buy and giving you some international exposure. Again, this is Argentina. So that's all I got for tonight, guys, but drop me a line. Let me know what you played today and have a good night.